Dominant and subordinate qualities have been previously discussed in the topic direction, but the discussion goes well beyond issues dealing with direction and movement. It's more akin to proportion because in the end, dominant and subordinate qualities are all about the relative amounts used. The exhibition entrance has a very clear visual hierarchy even when viewed at a less oblique angle. The dominant visual element in terms of hierarchy is the large black text. The subordinate visual element is the smaller red text on the right. The smaller red text is still quite powerful, yet displays a secondary role in terms of visual hierarchy. This Reed Miles album cover has a dominant field of black letter forms and a relatively subordinate level of red. The composition's visual flow is dominantly diagonal and subordinately vertical, subordinately horizontal. Shape-wise, the composition is dominantly geometric, due to the type, letter forms, and subordinately organic, due to the figure inside the letter L. This painting by Laszlo Moholy Naj involves dominant and subordinate qualities on two levels. First, we see the color systems used, in this case warm red and pale yellow, versus coolish blue-grays that are alternately tinted and shaded. Secondly, we see an arrangement of dominantly opaque and subordinately translucent shapes. Lastly, this painting by Gerhard Richter expresses dominant and subordinate qualities through contrasts of direction, but of greater interest is the contrast of color systems. The bright areas of red and smaller splashes of hue are relatively minor in size when compared to the larger field of white and chromatic grays. Yet a dynamic sense of balance is very much in play between the two systems of color.